on this for another four years, we have to take the old one from well, you, JS Math. Uh, we'll see whether I put this on or not. Okay. But uh, um, yeah, and the S and the SVG stuff is not in the one online either because that's not been released yet. So you people are the first people who've seen that. It's not even on GitHub. Yet. So, uh, so that's that. All right. So that pretty much covers covers what I want to see. The future of MathJax is equation numbering for AMS environments and so forth, so automatic equation numbering, the references, forward and backward and so forth. That's actually done. It's just, there's a, that's, that is on GitHub, but it's not in the main line yet. Uh, more LaTeX environments and so forth. Commutative diagrams, people are asking for. Number of people have asked for the polynomial uh, package and units and so forth. So those things make up. More complete math level, math ML3 support. Line breaking is one of the things that uh, our supporters are after, so that's something that's going to get done. Um, elementary math support for things like the long division and the, and the cancellation stuff and so forth. Alignment groups within tables, that's another big piece. Right to left support has been requested. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Um, another big thing is the, this uh, contextual menu item, which I snuck in there. Uh, the uh, head of design science was adamantly against any UI for this at all. And I said, we've got to have some ability to make settings, and we've got to have some way to get copy and paste to go. So I threw that in without permission. And now he claims it as his own idea. And, uh, and, uh, but he's after getting, a, getting some, you know, making this discoverable. He wants it so when you pass over the math, you know, something shows up in glowing blue or whatever it is to make it clear that this is active in some way, because that's what Word does when you pass over things. And I said, I will do it only if you can turn it off by uh, user preference. And so, uh, so that something like that will happen. Um, we also need to get a UI for uh, mobile devices. The right, you know, contextual menu is not a, an event on a, on a uh, mobile device that, that JavaScript has access to. Um, I have a little hack that does a double tap and hold to get a menu, and that uses the menus that we currently have, but they're not very uh, optimized for that environment. So we need to do some stuff about that. Uh, better support for mobile devices and more API. I think that is it. So these are then the URLs for MathJax, for the users forum where people can ask questions, for the GitHub distribution for my homepage, and for this stuff. All right, questions? All right, you're all Math Jack wizards at this point. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. What, what's the short reminder on what, what's happening with the Math Jacks integration to Sage? Uh, we we are we have.